Can I help you? Is this a theater, movie theater? That's right. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. I was just wondering what was playing there. I thought I would get a recording. Oh, do you get No, no. We have changed the system, ma'am. Uh, today playing is uh, Debbie Does Dallas at 4 o'clock. Um, Hot Anal Misfits 4. What is that? Uh, Hot Anal Misfits. Okay, what you can tell me is the ones that would be a family. Do you have any family movies or children? Oh, oh, yes, yes, we, yes, we do. We have uh, Happy Scrappy Hero Pop and uh, Best of Kitty Porn Nation 4. It's kitty porn for the kids. Yeah, um, like four and five-year-olds. Oh, no, this, this child is ten. Oh, oh, okay, um... Do you want to, do you want, like, girl on girl, or gay, or what? Being, uh, we actually have some BDSM. It's just good stuff, I mean, we, we, we can't have six-year-olds in the theater, like, at people under six. We have all anal gangbang, number four, too, as well. All anal gangbang? Yeah. That doesn't sound very good. Um, are you sure you're calling the right theater? I this don't is think a, I am. This is a pornography establishment. <laughs> nice laugh, lady. We're calling the cops on you if you're bringing your kids to a porno house. I, I guess you would. Yeah, we would. <laughs> well, I'm not bringing... Box. I thought I was calling... What I thought I was calling was... A, we don't care. Yeah, you're... Yeah. You're, yeah, you're going to hell. Bye. You sicko. Pervert. Snowplow show. Snowplow show. Snowplow show. Snowplow show. Okay, bitch. Snowplow show. Roy. W- what? W- Roy. Okay, fucking dog. Steve Dave. Fucking dog. Oh, fuck you, lady. Turnwinder? <laughs> okay. Ro, 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 sha, ba, 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 Hello, everyone. You're listening to the Snowplow Show for April 8th, 2018. This is show number 455, and it's sponsored by Nikki D. Thank you, Nikki D, for being a supporter on the Patreon. And thank you, everyone else who's been supporting the show these past few years, including the new supporters of the show, like Jarrett and LJ and Cody H and Rick K. Those are a few of the newer supporters of the Snowplow Show. And they get instant access to a bunch of shows that you can find on patreon.com slash phone losers. Before we get started with today's show, which is a live show that I did last night, I've got a quick news story here, which apparently I can either read the news story or I can watch a video that plays uplifting music and just kind of prints out the story for me on the video with related pictures and stuff. But I won't do that. This is a story from Surprise, Arizona. A man is arrested after making sexually explicit crank calls to female customers of his employer. Surprise police report that on March 22nd, they arrested Larry Brent Stumful at the U-Haul near 168th and Northern Avenues where he works. 
Police were alerted to the harassing calls by a woman who said she'd been getting a series of sexually explicit phone calls from a blocked number. However, one of the calls came from an unblocked number. Police tracked that number to Stumful. In checking his call records, police say they discovered 52 calls made from a blocked number. And how does he do that? Because I was hanging out with Olga and Richard the other day, last weekend, or last week, whatever, a week ago. And we were in this food court area, signing each other's PLA books. And I called a jewelry store that was across from us. And I dialed star six seven on my phone, but apparently that doesn't work with my carrier. I guess it's my carrier. I don't know why else it wouldn't work. But I dialed star six seven and told this jewelry store that I was with the mall office and insane clown posse is coming up to the store with their entourage. And he didn't seem to believe me because my phone said Albany, Oregon on it. I think I need to use a new cell carrier or something. Maybe I should call this stumful guy and ask him how he blocks his number on his cell phone these days. Police report that they've contacted 15 victims so far. Some of the victims reported that they have storage lockers with U-Haul or had rented a vehicle from them recently. So Stumful is doing several things wrong, and I don't think he's a listener of my show, because if he was, he would know all about the rules of prank calling, which you can read through by going to phonelosers.org slash rules for PLA's official rules of prank calling, which clearly tell you not to ever make prank calls locally. No matter what, do not call people in the same city as you. If possible, don't even call people in the same state as you. Of course, I was violating that rule the other day at the mall, calling up the jewelry store from my own cell phone. But it was a harmless prank call. It wasn't a sexually explicit prank call. And I wasn't breaking another rule of prank calling, which is that you shouldn't repeatedly call the same person over and over and over, like this guy appears to have been doing. Only call people once, maybe twice, if it's one right after the other. Or maybe wait a couple years in between each time you call them. Otherwise, it becomes harassment. And that's what got this guy in trouble. He kept calling the same person over and over and over. If he just called her once, she probably wouldn't even bothered calling the police. She'd just be like, wow, what a fucking weirdo. And that'd be the end of it. But no, he didn't follow the rules at phonelosers.org slash rules. And then I don't know if this is on the rule page, but it seems like common sense. The whole you don't shit where you eat type of thing. He's getting the numbers from his own work. That's not a good idea. It says some of the victims was from his current job at U-Haul. Some of the other victims were former co-workers of Stumful when he worked at an Olive Garden restaurant. Upon his arrest, Stumful allegedly told the police that he started making the calls with the idea of creating a YouTube channel where he would prank call people. What a great idea. I should try that. Police say Stumful also admitted to making sexually explicit video calls to some of the women. He was arrested for 154 counts of harassment by communication. Holy shit. So he's trying to steal Jihad's idea for calls of mass confusion. Probably recording the video calls and going to put them up on YouTube. I kind of want to hear his calls. I wish they were up somewhere. Or maybe they are and we just don't know about it. But there you go, an article that shows you the various things that you shouldn't do while prank phone calling. Such as calling locally and calling your coworkers and calling your customers and calling the same person over and over and over. Bad idea. I tried to look this guy up on Facebook, but I couldn't find him. And I tried to look up his number so I could do a quick interview with him. And I did find someone with his name in that state, but I'm pretty sure it's his dad because he's in his 50s and this guy in the pictures is not in his 50s, I don't think. So whatever, maybe after all the charges are dropped, he'll start up a hilarious YouTube channel. Speaking of hilarious video prank calls, there's another Calls of Mass Confusion prank out. This one involves a fake podcast episode that we all did together, where we talked to a girl who was a juggalo, I mean a juggalette. You know, she likes the insane clown posse. And I think it's mostly XYZ that really pissed her off. And holy crap, I just noticed it's 30 minutes long for just this one Skype call. Your shit. Now, I get out of here. You don't even drink bagel. How old are you? How old are you? I'm 20 years old. I know exactly what I'm talking about, all right? I know everything about the world. Right, I'm going on 27, nigga. I've been repping this shit for 15 nah, fucking you, you, years. You, you don't know shit. Fake so that's XYZ arguing with this insane clown posse girl who does not know that she's being trolled by all of us. It's kind of funny. Be sure to go watch that. I'm going to link to where I posted it in a Reddit group called the Insane Cringe Posse, and they're really pissed off at me for posting the video. I can't tell if I've offended them because we're making fun of ICP or if they just think our prank is completely unfunny. But you get two for one here. You can watch the video while you read these really mean comments to me. I'll put a link to that in the show notes if you want to check it out. And be sure to subscribe to Calls of Mass Confusion. GAT is releasing two episodes every single week. 
I think he told me it's going to happen on Wednesday and Sunday, but I could be wrong about that. The place to find these calls is youtube.com slash C-O-M-C pranks. Calls of Mass Confusion also has a Patreon now, and you should support that. Giad puts a lot of money into this whole Calls of Mass Confusion thing, so supporting Calls of Mass Confusion will hopefully keep that stuff happening. All right, I think it is time for the live show. So here it is. Here is the live show from last night. doing a live show tonight everyone Murphy. thanks for tuning in how many people are in there like uh on the mixlers 76 i'm just making up for dwight being lazy last night and doing a sh- not doing a show what the hell dwight hopefully he wasn't planning on doing one tonight because i'm stealing it stealing the airwaves so um tonight i have a uh, a list from crimson You know, the guy that's always like, Hey, Brad, it's Crimson. That guy gave me a list of homeowner association people. So we're going to be doing homeowner association calls. I'll give you guys all a a second to switch headphones since I just blew yours out. Sorry. This is a huge list. I'm not going to be on for like a super long time, but this is like a nine page list Uh, It's a bunch of homeowner association people, you know, people that live in a homeowner's association area. And, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do, I guess. Uh, Molecular Heckler was saying that we need to do space tunnel calls. And we need to do spacement calls, like I always do. Those are fun. I think that's what we'll do. So yeah, I guess we'll just get started. Um, First person on the list. I don't know what kind of place this is. I think it's, like, I don't know if it's old people or if it's just all ages of people. I hope it's all ages. We need a nice, nice mixed age range tonight. I don't want to just call old people. It's not all old people names, so that's, you know, that looks good. Tonight I'm broadcasting on both the Mixler and the Shoutcast. So if you're a hobo and you can't handle the bandwidth of Mixler, be sure to tune into the Shoutcast. You can get all the links for that on phonelosers.org in the right sidebar. Or just click on the, the Flash player. I'm calling from their local area. I checked the caller ID. It basically just says nothing on the caller ID. It's just a blank call. It's like a disconnected number. But it is local-ish to them. I mean, it's in the same area code. Yeah, this whole list is probably just bullshit. It's just crimson fucking with them. Hello? Hi, Christina? Yeah? It's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yes. How are you doing tonight? Um, I'm doing fine. That's good to hear. Hey, um, you have a basement there, right? No, I don't. Oh, a garage? Yes. Okay, that might work. We're we're gonna be doing this thing here in the neighborhood, and uh, we're gonna we're uh-huh. gonna we're gonna need to use your use your garage, or if you have a spare bedroom, that'd be fine too. Uh, but we're gonna do this thing for, for what? Uh, it's gonna be like an open mic night. Um, it's for an improv group, improv troupe, um, and uh, we're you know we're gonna set up chairs, a microphone, some sound equipment, and it's basically gonna. I don't be- think that's gonna work in my garage. Why not? Is it messy? (laughs) It's full. (laughs) Oh, could you clean it out? You know, like homeowner association rules says you need to have a clean garage. You're not really supposed to have a messy garage. What's your name again? This is Roy. You know, I don't really know you. Oh, I know, but it's fine. I'm not too sure. I don't. This doesn't sound legit to me. 
So I'm going to hang up. I'm sorry. Which part Thank you. doesn't sound legit? Which part? All right. Didn't work, Snappy Bakes. <laughs> but I like the idea. I think we should try that one again. Hello? Hi there. Uh, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Is this Mary? Yes. Hey, Mary. Uh, I just needed to let you know. Um, next week, we're going to use your home. For uh, we're we're doing like this uh, improv troop thing. We're gonna put up chairs. In... What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I should have explained better. Uh, this is Roy from the homeowners association. Homeowners association. That's the one. Yep, and we're gonna use your home as a, an improv uh, venue. Like, no, you're not. <laughs> oh, oh no, we <laughs> didn't don't get permission. Oh, no. I, I didn't give anyone permission for that. Yeah, but we don't need permission. We're we're with the homeowners association. Like, if you don't let us do it, we'll we'll have to fine you. Oh, for heaven's sake! But what kind of joke is this? No, it's not a joke. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna bring in sound equipment. We're gonna bring in a bunch of chairs. We're expecting about fifty people to show up for you know for audience members, and we're gonna do uh, improv comedy, like an improv comedy show. Oh, we're called the Yes that's... Andersons. Yes, well, uh, so, some kind of joke, but it. I, actually, I'm, I'm it, watching a program that I really like, so thanks very much for wh- calling. Which Bye. program? Which program are you watching? Ah, oh, shit. I want to know which program. You know, weirdly enough, Katie Baker, um, she wanted me to say we're called the Yes Andersons, and that lady's last name is Anderson. We're on the beginning of the list. So her name's Anderson. Isn't that crazy? It's like you're psychic. Hello. Hi, Mr. Anderson. Uh, it's okay yeah. to say yes. I'm I'm Roy with the Homeowners Association. You're from who? I'm with the Homeowners Association. You know the Homeowners Association? Uh, what Homeowners Association? The Beckenridge Homeowners Association. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That one. How are you doing tonight? Well, I'm busy, but otherwise, I'm okay. Okay. Well, I'm, I'll just take up a, a quick minute of your time. I need to let you know that we're going to be installing a uh, doggy door in in your Is front. You're going to be what? On, you know your front door, how it doesn't have a doggy door in it for for dogs to get in. Yeah. We're Can gonna. Can you repeat that? More slowly and more loudly. I, I'm getting hard of hearing. Oh, sure. No problem. I Regret Jumping wants me to let you know that we're going to be putting a doggy door into your door so the dog can get in. We don't have dogs. I know, but it's just uh, it's a new regulation. It's a new rule, new homeowners association rule. You have to have a doggy door. Well, what if you don't have a dog? Well, it's okay. You know, you you don't have to use it, but you have to get one put in there. It has to be uh, one foot by one foot. Well, then it would have to be out of my garage door then. Oh no, be- no, it's got to be your front door. We're gonna put. But I have I have a double door. Uh, first, I have an oak door, and then I have a glass door. Oh. We're going to have to put a doggy door in the glass and in the oak. That's not really possible with my kind of door. Oh, no, it is. We've ta- we took a look. We drove by and took pictures. It has, yeah. th- mine has large metal. Yep, we, c- we know how to cut through metal. We're, we've got a professional construction company. They're going to come over and do it. Next now, is this going to cost us many, anything? Oh, no, no, it's completely free. But everybody in the neighborhood has to have a doggy door. That doesn't make sense. Well, maybe the reason you don't have a dog is because you don't have a doggy door. No. I'm 90 years old almost, and oh. I don't want a dog, and I don't want a doggy door. Yeah, but, you know, some someday, like, someday you may lock your keys in the house, and this way you can, like, climb through and get your keys. I... Uh, I'm, I'm opposed to this. Or what if you're dog-sitting for a friend? I'm never going to be dog sitting for a friend. You don't know that. You might be. Yes, I do know that. You never know. I I don't allow a dog in the house. L- life throws plenty of curveballs at you. You may just need to 
Who you know, made this rule? Uh, the Homeowners Association did. We, we voted on it. I'm not aware that that was ever something they were going to do. Yeah, they're... And it, that, that, this is so ridiculous. Yeah, they... you're damaging my home. Oh no, it's not damage. It's a doggy door. It in, it improves. No, it's damaging my home as far as I'm concerned. It it makes it makes the whole neighborhood look more more homey, because you know we all have dogs. It just looks it it just looks oh, better. I I disagree. Yeah, well that that's why you're not on the homeowners board. Well, maybe so, but hey, when you're almost ninety years old. You don't want a dog around, and you don't want a doggy door. Yeah, well, you might decide you want a dog. Like, you'll just be looking at that doggy door no, and be like, you know I'll what? I never want a dog in the house. You never know. What do you have against dogs? What? What do you have against dogs? Why don't you like dogs? I don't have anything against dogs. But do you realize that when a person is... I'll be 90 years old in July. You don't say... And when that happens, you don't want to have to take care of a dog. Uh, my wife is on hospice, mm -hmm. and I've had a, a house that's been protected because it hasn't had any kind of opening like this. Yeah, but here's the thing. Our new mailman, he's blind, and he has a service dog. That that's fine. Yeah, so he might need to use the doggy door. Like no. the, the dog might want to bring in a package for you. No. Well, he might. I, I, I What if you get a package? I disagree with this totally. And I'd rather not have it done. Okay, well I mean everyone in your neighborhood's going to have it done like you'll be the only one in the neighborhood not to have it done. That's okay. Let the, the the other people do it. But, but they'll they'll talk about you. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> you, you'll be the only one. I'll I'm, I'm I'll be glad to be the only one. It's to comply with the Disabilities Act. Pardon? It, it's the doggy doors to comply with the Disabilities Act because it, it's like a every house has to have access in case you have a blind uh, visitor to your house and they bring their dog with them. Or they're, they're... I don't have any blind visitors who come with dogs. Well, what if? And I never will. What if uh, UPS comes and they and they have they like the UPS driver has a a comfort animal? I don't think that's ever going to happen. Oh, I don't know. People get packages all the time. <laughs> well, I think the rule is ridiculous. Yeah, but, you know, we're the Homeowners Association, so we make the rules. Yeah, but some of the rules are ridiculous. Don't and I think this one is ridiculous. To force people into having a doggy door. Well, I voted to force people to actually have dogs, but they voted that down. I w we were going to make you have dogs, but the doggy door rule still stands. Like, we're going to vote again next year. Next year, you might have to get a dog. No, no. I don't. I probably won't be alive. Oh come on! Don't talk like that. Hey, you'll you'll be here another ten or twenty years. I bet <laughs> you could live to be the oldest person no, in the world. you don't know the condition of our household at all, do you? No, I My don't. My wife but... is on hospice right now, and I I take care of her. And I but I have people come during the day to take care of her. And, and I don't want somebody coming in and messing with my doors. Yeah, well, what if one of those people that comes over, what if they have a dog? None of the people that I know have dogs. <sighs> All right. You're impossible, sir. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to be impossible because I, I think that you're doing something that is not appropriate. Well, no, we voted on it, but, like, I can talk to that the... That doesn't matter to me. I can talk to the homeowner... You're damaging my household, and I don't care for it. I can talk to the homeowners association. I'll talk to them about not putting a doggy door 
in your house. All right, do that, please. I'll do my best, but no promises. I'd appreciate that. No promises. I'll do my best, though. Okay. Okay. Bye. What what are you are you what you doing tonight? Are you watching? Hello. Jeez, way way to bring down the the prank call. That was Nebraska Ryan's idea about the blind the blind postman. <laughs> Have a service dog drop the mail inside. That sounds convenient. Why wouldn't he want that? That guy, he was a reverend. Or he used to be a reverend. I don't know if he's still actively reverending. Because, as you may have heard, he's almost 90 years old. The number you have dialed is not in service. Oh. Please. The whole show's just going to shit now. <laughs> I may as well take a call. East of the Rockies, you're on the air. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Doing a show. How you yeah, doing? This is a great show. Oh, this thank is you. Oh, hey, Wolfatin. Did you like the part where the old man, like, made us all depressed because he won't be around next year and his wife won't be around? And That didn't make me depressed. He's, he lived a full life. He's, he's fine. It's true. Because, like, he was laughing and stuff. He, was, he thought it was funny at first. Yeah, he's he, he's forgetting all sorts of bad things that happened to him in life, so that's good. Yep, I agree. Moving on with life. Yeah. So what are we going to say to the next person that we call? Um, um, oh yeah, my son is going to use their garage or basement to play, T, to play GTA 5. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. You can be my son, Chad. Okay. <laughs> But they're not going to answer. It's just going to ring. Damn it. Your call has been forwarded. Nope. You fucked that one up. It's all my fault. God damn it, Wolfaton. Why is your name Wolfaton? Um, because <clears throat> I'm a wolf and uh, I have a pet wolf and I'm 10 years old. So. Oh, okay. Wait, you're 10 or the wolf is 10? Hello? Hey, is 10. hey there, Doug. Yeah, who's this? Hey, uh, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. I needed to find out what kind of internet you have there. Uh, what kind of internet? Uh, what's this for? Is it a good connection? Like, um, my son, Chad, has been... Chad, I need a good connection. I, I know, Chad. Just hold on. My son Chad, he's going to be uh, coming over there and just using your internet. He, he needs to have a place to play GTA 5. Uh, sorry. Can't help you out there. Oh, no, no. I'm, Why the helicopter's dead? I'm, Chad, shut up. He, uh, <laughs> he, he hung up. You, you uh, were, damn it. You were a good Chad, though. <laughs> Thanks. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Okay. There goes Chatterton, my youngest listener, 10 years old. Next one's going to work out for sure, though, if they answer. I know, adult movies, whatever, geez. I'll get to it. I got to do this GTA prank, though. Hello, it's Jason. Sorry, Mr. Call. No, oh, it's Jason. Like, don't mention your wife's name. You do have a wife. It's not just your phone. It belongs to both of you. It's a home phone. Asshole. Jason thinks he's like, I own the house. That's what Jason's like. Please leave us a message. Thank you. Got his TV blaring for his ma machine message. This phone number has a UL next to it. Does that mean unlisted? Like he doesn't want to be in the directory? Hello? Hello, is this Ruben? Yes. Hey, Ruben. This is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Hey, you have internet there, right? 
Yeah. Okay, great. My my son Chad, he's gonna come over and use your internet. He's gonna come over and play video games on your internet. Uh, why? Um, cause I don't know. He's kind of a jerk, and me and him aren't getting along. So I'm just gonna send him over to your house, and he's gonna play internet at your house. Um, I'm using my internet. Yeah, he he like it, it's probably gonna go really slow when he plays on it. Your internet's gonna be much slower while he's there. Right now, who who, who is this? Uh, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Right. Yep. Yeah, he's just gonna come over and like use your TV and your internet. <laughs> he's gonna hook up his video games to your TV and play on the internet. Uh, can he do that tomorrow? Um. Yeah, I guess we could do tomorrow. Why not? I can deal with them, I guess, for tonight. Okay. But I was thinking he could come over like every day. No, 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 no. Just like starting tomorrow, just every single day after school? Because he just needs... No, that wouldn't work out. Because he just needs a TV and internet. No, I would, I would pass on that deal. <sighs> okay. I just thought I'd try. Okay, thank you. All right, I hope you have a nice night. You too, bye-bye. Goodbye. <sighs> Why is it all old people here? I can't anger someone that sounds like that. <laughs> I love the idea, though. Okay, space tunnel time. And spacement calls. Basements from space. There's Please leave your message <sighs> for... Man, I'm almost done with page one. Maybe I will do all the pages. Hello. Hey there, uh, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Hi, Roy. Hey, I needed to let you know that um, I've um, worked out something with the water company where they're going to increase the water pressure throughout the entire neighborhood. Okay. And it's for my new hot tub. Um, it's going to okay. be installed next week. And um, you're, you're going to have to call a plumber and get your pipes widened. What? Because if you don't like the pressure, it could just blow your pipes right off. Come it, on. No, I'm serious. It's like fire fire hydrant type pressure like I wanted it to be really good for the hot tub <laughs> yeah it's, it's not a, this? it's not a joke sir it's not, this is Roy from the homeowners association so you're because you want a hot tub you're gonna make me call a plumber and it has to go to the expense of calling a plumber well it's not just you you don't have to take it personally it's everyone in the neighborhood but it's gonna be good for everyone you know we're all gonna have super great pressure water it's going to increase your water bill, but it'll kind of be worth it because you'll get really great water I, pressure. My water pressure is fine. I don't. I don't need to have better water pressure. I know, but I, I want. Understand. I want it to be. Huh? I want it to be like really, really good water pressure for the for the hot tub. We're getting like a hot tub on our deck, like in the back, one of those covered ones. You know, I I, I just don't understand why you. <laughs> Why do you think that it's good for me that I call a plumber so you can have better water pressure? Well, you don't have to do it, but if you don't, it's probably just going to blow your pipes right off. Like, it's a lot of pressure. It's too much pressure for the little pipes in your house. So you're going to have to replace the pipes underneath your yard that go to the house, under the front. When is this all going to take place? Like, next week. Oh, so you think everybody in the neighborhood can get a plumber out by next week? I yeah, some of them have already done it, and uh, we sent we sent out letters uh, a couple months ago. But I have a bad ankle, and you sent out I, letters. Yeah, to us? I, I, we never got a letter about it. Well, maybe you threw it away. Maybe you thought it was junk mail. That's that's on you. But I have a bad ankle, and I need the hot tub for my ankle. So it's not like I'm just doing this for fun. I just I need the high pressure to help make my ankle feel better. Doesn't a hot tub have its own pump in the hot tub to create that? 
y- yeah, if you want to spend a bunch of money on electricity for it to to do all that pumping. But like e- even with that, it's not that great of water pressure. I I just wanted the extra water pressure. But you just have to get get f- fatter pipes. That's all. Like right so now, I got to get fatter pipes for my house. Yeah, like right now you have half inch pipes, I believe. Probably that's what most people have. You're gonna have to get three quarter inch or one inch pipes throughout the entire house, and update all of your fixtures. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't see what's so funny about that. Oh, I think you're being ridiculous. I'm glad you think it's ridiculous that I hurt my ankle and I need medical well, attention. Well, I think it's ridiculous that you think I've got to get a plumber out here and replace all the pipes in my house because you got a sore ankle. I'm just doing this because it's, it's better for the neighborhood. It's good. It stimulates the economy and all that, but it gives us better water pressure. It's like... Yeah. We're living yeah, in the, okay. the, the old, the, the dark ages as far as our water pipes go. Yeah, okay. I like, can't believe you're, like, sitting there just laughing at me. Well, I am. Over my ankle. But this is stupid. You're this is stupid. You're fucking stupid. Huh? Goodbye. I said you're... Yeah, he's not going to take that cursing. That was from Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton in the discord chat but someone else has that idea i was going to do it anyway um mad weasel wanted me to say that new high pressure pipes are required by next week and that guy didn't know whether to think it was a joke or or not he was kind of pissed Tee-hee. <laughs> jim bob says we should go back to lead pipes tell them they need to get some of those new lead pipes you know how like they bring back uh, the retro pepsi logo Hi, this is Mark with Chim- And the, the retro Pepsi with real sugar and all that. That's what we're doing with the pipes. We're bringing them back. Bringing back the lead pipes. It's going to be cancerific. Hello, we are not available now. All right, on to page number two. Oh, there's a bunch of people that have ULs next to their phone numbers. What does UL mean? All I can think of is unlisted. But what is it, what's it unlisted from? I doubt all these people are listed. Or maybe they are. I don't know. Unlitted pipes. Underlord, Adolf Nippler says. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. I should tell them they have to get biodegradable pipes installed underneath their front lawn. Because that makes sense, I guess. They'll just dissolve and stop working eventually. But it's better for the earth. Please leave your message for... Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That was a UL person, too. Hi there, Scott. Yeah. Hey, Scott. It's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Hi. Hi. I needed to let you know my uh, son Chad's going to be coming over there tomorrow night. Um, you guys have internet, right? Yeah. Why? Well, what's up? Uh, he just needs somewhere to like somewhere that's not here. Me and him are just we're just going at it all the time, just yelling, yelling at each other. He's not very respectful or anything. So I'm going to be sending him over to your house to just use your internet. He's got a laptop. Who am I talking to again? Uh, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Do I know you, Roy? Oh, no. No, I just chose you um, pretty much at random. But, I mean, you're nearby where we live. So okay, I, well, then, what what do you mean you're going to send somebody to my house to use my internet? I don't my, quite understand. It's my son, Chad. He's 14 years old. He's really disrespectful. But he'll probably be nice to you because you're not. Okay. You're but not what, how, how does this involve me, Roy? Uh, I'm going to be sending him t- to your house tomorrow. He's just going to come in and... Hey, but I, I, I don't want anybody in my house, Roy. Well, no, he's not going to do anything wrong. He just, he's just going to sit there on the couch and play video games on his laptop. He plays GTA, mostly. Okay, well, you know what? I, I, you're, you're, making, you're making this sound really funny, so I decline. Thank you. What do you mean really Goodnight. funny? Good night. What, what do you mean by that? Good night. No, I'm not saying good night. What What do you mean by making it okay, sound well, funny? Okay, well, I'm saying good night. Good night. No, I refuse. I will not say good night. 
What did he mean by that? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm going to cross that one off the list. Thanks, Charles McFly, for that idea. Should have told him to lock his bedroom doors. He'll go in there and steal your jewelry and go through your wallet. Keep an eye on him. Hello. We- I was trying to call them back to tell them they would get fined for not letting my son come over. Been at this an hour now. Well, no, I guess I played music first. We're going to have to take the hourly break here in just a minute. And by break, I mean I'm going to quit. I'll be done for the night. Fuck this shit. Hello? Hey there, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. What Homeowners Association? The... Your homeowner. Oh, okay. The, the one that you're... Yeah, at. I just, you know, just checking to see. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, I needed to let you know that um, next weekend on Saturday, we're going to be holding, we're going to be having a, uh, a, a political rally in your front yard. In my front yard? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know Bob Murphy, the politician? No. Not really. Okay, he, he's going to be doing a big event in your front yard. Um, Why my he, front yard? Um, I don't know. Why not? Just, you know, we just decided yours looked good. Uh, it can probably accommodate all the people we'll need. We're going to put up food. <laughs> I think food. you're thinking the wrong house. Oh, no. no ni- you're, you're 4814, right? 96. Yep. That's the one. Yep. But I don't want people in my front yard. Will I be on the street? Oh, no. No, it'll be right in your front yard. He's going to put a podium up on your porch. He's going to stand on your porch at a no, podium. No, 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 no. There's going to be microphones. Remotely. No, there's... no. No, no, no. Yes. No, we, I don't want people here. No, I'm not asking permission. I'm letting you know we're definitely going to do this. I'm with the Homeowners well, Association. You can't do it without my permission. It's my property. I know, but we're the homeowners. I, I have guests coming, and uh, one of them has cancer, and we're, I'm just not hosting anyone else around when those people are here. What day uh, is that going to be? That's going to be, they're going to be here for the weekend. Huh. Can you guys go somewhere else? No, they're my family, and oh. they're they're not well. They cannot go somewhere else. <sighs> okay, well, do you know anywhere else? Not. Do you know where, anywhere else we could hold it? Homeowners Association. Yeah, like like what about maybe your next door neighbor or something? Like, is it going to bother you if they're if they're next door to you? If if there's a podium and noise, there certainly is. Well, it's not going to be that Why loud. Why on earth did they choose my home? I don't have a place in a front yard. I know it's just going to be for a couple hours, though. Like it's no, just no. it's just it a quick happen. thing. It's going to be on it the. Happen. It's going to be on the. It cannot ni- happen. It's going to be on the news. You'd be on your house would be on the news. It'd be like I don't want my house on the news. I have I have family coming who is very ill. I they cannot be here. Okay, we'll do it somewhere else, I guess. <laughs> I suppose. That was rude. I told her we'd do it somewhere else, and she just hangs up on me. Rude lady. So see, that's how you get out of a prank call. You tell me, like, you got family coming that has... They, they're, they've got cancer and stuff. That'll do it. Should, should I call her back and, and just call her a bitch? Is that what I should do? And I fucked that all up. Like, um, Michelle wanted me to say that he was a uh, 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 an evangelist, not a politician. But he's a famous politician, but... Wait. This is very confusing. There's an evangelist and a politician involved. No, I'm not going to do that, you guys. <laughs> Alright, let's see if the next person... Let's see what the age or the ailment of the next person is. Hey there, um, is this Janet? Huh? Oh, is this Thomas? Hey, it's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Oh, hi there. How are you doing tonight? Good, what's up? Uh, I need to let you know we're going to be using your front lawn on Wednesday. For what? Uh, it's going to be a political rally. Uh, there's a famous uh, evangelist guy, he's from television. Uh, he's running for uh, something or another, I don't know, like congressperson this year. Um, he's just going to be, we're going to put a podium up on your front porch and chairs in the front lawn. There's going to be a uh, a table for food. Are you serious? There's, 
Yeah, yeah. Just on Wednesday uh, afternoon, um, from about who, just who like did you talked to about this before. Uh, I'm just talk. I'm t- I'm letting you know. Oh. I'm, t- I'm talking to you. Oh. <laughs> it's it's just gonna. Okay, so when is this? This is Wednesday. Yeah, on Wednesday from about two to four. There's and who is this person? It's um, you know, I don't know his name offhand. He's a famous televangelist from television, and he's running for uh, state something or another. Really? Congress, per, I don't know, state something. But, yeah, he, he's just going to be uh, giving a speech. It's going to be on television. Your house is going to be on television, so make sure you... Why, did you, why was my house selected? Uh, just, you know, it's, it's in the neighborhood. It's, it's like a nice, nice-looking house and everything. Just thought it would look <laughs> okay, good for, for so television. Okay, when do we expect everybody? Uh, well, the caterers are going to show up around noon. Yeah. And they're going to set this up all... This is Wednesday. Yeah, noon on Wednesday. My battery's running out on my phone, so if it hangs up, oh crud! Call me back. <laughs> okay, so what else do I need to do? Uh, just stay out, stay out of their way. Don't don't like stay in your house. Don't don't be like coming and going. Don't bother them. Yeah. Don't don't well, make. I gotta mow the lawn. No, I mean don't tomorrow. do it. On, don't do it on Wednesday. Yeah, do it tomorrow. Don't do it on Wednesday. It's supposed to be about sixty tomorrow. Okay, yeah, that that'd be a good day to mow the lawn. It, well, it needs, this is uh, this is uh, news to me now. Is anybody else going to have this done to them? Oh no, just play? just you. Hey, can you put your lawnmower on the lowest setting so it makes you know mows the lawn really good? Yeah. Okay. Please, thank you. All right. He's going to be speaking. He's going to be speaking about um, legalize or um, about legal marijuana. He's going to be having a big speech about marijuana and stuff. Yeah, is he for it or against it? Oh, he's for it. Really? Yeah, yep, he is. It's a pro-marijuana rally, but um, it's also for Congress or a state senator. Who knows? Okay. He's with the Westboro Baptist Church. Oh, (laughs) yeah, okay. And and your name again is? Uh, This is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yeah, from, from, uh, and whereabouts do you live? Uh, I'm here in the neighborhood. I'm I'm over on uh, Ridgeview Circle. Oh, okay. All right. Yep. Okay, Roy, yep. well, uh, you going to be there? You going to be involved in this? Uh, no, it's not really my thing. I, I'm not interested. I'll probably be busy. Who set this but, up? Oh, I did. I, I gave him, I suggested your address. There's going to be over 200 people there, so they're going to spill out into the streets. Um, it's going to be hard to use the street that day because there's going to be a lot of cars. So don't expect to be driving anywhere on Wednesday. Okay, good. Thanks for the update. They're all going to be smoking marijuana, most likely, because it's like pro, <laughs> pro marijuana. Okay. 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 I'm just. So can l- I have some friends around in the audience? Uh, it, as long as you don't make a nuisance of yourself. Yeah. Okay. Not a problem. Just don't. Don't be. Don't. Yeah. Just don't be causing problems. Okay. All right. Because you know they'll Thanks throw. They'll, the heads up. They'll throw you out of there. Okay. They, they'll they'll make you leave. You don't want to be asked to leave your own home. All right. Maybe you should just stay inside. I will. Well, a minute ago he said you're going to bring friends over. Okay. Don't be inviting. Don't be inviting. No, just a few friends. Just the heck of it. Maybe not on Wednesday. Pick a different day. Maybe Thursday. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks for the update. You don't have to have an attitude with me about it. Oh, okay. I'm just doing my job. I won't. All right. All right. Bye. Have a nice day. Yeah. Him and that loud ass TV. Well, it's too bad. I don't think he believed it at the end. Oh well. Thanks, Michelle, for the idea. Hello. Hey, uh, Everett. Yes. Hey, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. I need to let you know we're going to be coming over to your house on Tuesday. And we just need to use one of your bedrooms. Like, do you have a spare room? To do what? We're going to be filming some things. We're going to make, you know, making, we're working with a local uh, film director. Oh, huh. Yeah, sure, we're, I'll be around. Okay, yeah, and, um, yeah, but, like, there's going to be a whole film crew. Good and, grief. And some actors. Bucky, good sakes, I better make my bed. 
Yeah, well, is it going to be your bed or is it going to be um, is it going to be a guest room? The guest room is my den full of wild Indian artifacts. Oh, that sounds cool, actually. Could we super treasures? Maybe we could set up a bed in there, just for the, <laughs> the scenic scenery. Or do you have a leather couch in there? No, it's uh, full of an uh, old roll top desk and a. Uh, oh, nice. That, that could work. Yeah. Yep. No, it's pretty. It's a fascinating desk. Is it like like uh, how old is it? So the desk is probably over a hundred years old. Oh wow, that's old. Holy cow! I even have it hanging on the wall. Among other things, is a picture of my father. In 1912, sitting on the wing of a plane that uh, in Portland that they flew over and under the Willamette River bridges. Holy cow! I can't do this now. <laughs> my that my granddad awesome. had some money in those days. He had un unlimited class speedboats. He had a rodeo. Yeah, all kinds of yep. stuff. Wow! Wow! That's great. Yep. Yeah. Well, what's the purpose of the... Oh, we're just going into all the houses and we're just filming all their rooms. It's just for the Homeowners Association, just for our records. We're just, huh. just going to go around and film everyone's room just so we know what's going on in there. Make sure there's nothing going on. Make sure you're not up, oh. up to anything. Hmm. Yep, yep. Just, just to be, you can't be too careful these days. Yeah, I guess so. Yep. Why? We're going to film your, your kitchen... Do you have a basement? Nope. Okay, we're not going to film that. There are no basements in Jubilee. Yeah, we won't film your bathroom. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, we'll see you then. Okay. All right. What is this? This is Roy from the Homeowners Association. But what day? Uh, we'll just, we'll make it a surprise. Oh, okay. Okay. Bye, Everett. <laughs> he hung up on <laughs> Why? Why? Why does it have to be old people? He's ruining my calls by being old. We'll try that one again. I promise. <laughs> Cody No Name wants me to tell them that they are at the mercy of random ideas from a chat room. That's a great idea. Hello, you have reached. Here's Patrick and Sean. Oh, wait, didn't we learn on a hobo sode recently that Sean is a girl's name? Or was that a different name? I don't remember. I remember us having a big disagreement over that, though. Hi, this is Patrick. Oh, hey, Patrick. This is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Hi, Roy. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing well. Thanks. That's good. What's going on? You weren't expecting an answer at twenty after nine at night, but um, yeah, no, I was. We, we're here. We what's uh, yeah, what's happening? Tried to call earlier. I just wanted to let you know you have new neighbors that just moved in. We and, do. Yes, uh, they live kind of. They they go on walks and stuff. I don't know if you've seen them already, but they're nudists. No. Yeah. So you, you're talking about the property and. Yeah, yeah, I'm with the. Homeowners Association. Oh, okay. And I'm just okay because we don't live in the house. We um, we we have tenants that are there. Oh, <laughs> you're one of but, those people. Really, <laughs> there are some nudists that are, and they're walking around nude. Yeah, they go on walks. I think they're just trying to show off or something. But like legally, we can't do anything about it, and people keep calling the police on them. So I just like, can you let your tenants know that it's completely normal and there's nothing wrong with it? Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely, I'll let them know. I, I, he works all the time. I doubt if he's ever, well, you know, he's, uh, anyway, I will certainly let him know. I appreciate the call, Roy. Oh, it's no problem uh, at all. We just, uh, we're so, just trying to help yeah, him. Yeah, you're, you're wanting to let everybody know, and, and I'm sure I, the frustration for you is dealing with the calls that are asking you to do something yep, about it. Yep. Your hands are tied, I'm sure. Everybody's afraid of boobs, apparently. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know what their problems is. 
<laughs> I, and, and, you know, as you said, I, these are people that are just kind of wanting to, to flaunt it. I mean, yeah, you know, pretty much, uh, like you the, know, more power to them. They're comfortable in their own skin. That's a great thing. The husband and a wife. There, there's yeah. this one lady. She's very right. upset because she was taking her, uh, her kids out for a walk and, and they walked by and, and she's like, Oh my God, he has a penis. And and they're just walking along the trails and stuff. Yeah, well, it was erect. Wow! But you know, huh. like, what can we do? Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, I suppose if uh, people stop noticing them, they'll stop doing it, or you know, maybe not. But no, no, this know, is certainly. Just... I I feel for people with young children that are there. I mean, that's a yeah. We can't have young children seeing bodies. Thing to, yeah, <laughs> I know. Oh my God! We, we tend to be hysterical about it, but yep. um, everyone in the neighborhood the sure does. The the gun club down the street, you know, fire away, but um, yeah, don't don't be uh, seeing body parts. Yeah. That's right. Well, I do appreciate the call. Okay, yeah. If you could just let your tenants know, there's naked people yep. walking around the neighborhood, and it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. And it's yep, and they're allowed to do it. So yep. Okay. All right. Thanks for calling, Roy. <laughs> you, have you, a good night. You have a fucking great night, sir. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I love it. Hang in there, man. All right. Keep up the good work. <laughs> you too. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> Didn't expect him to enjoy that so much. Let's take a break. Just a couple song break. Just a quick break what we're going to do. Whether you're a snow clearing enthusiast or you are a snow plowing professional, tune into the snow plow show right here. Ain't nothing better on, uh, on internet except for stick it with Mr. Bix. That one's pretty good. <laughs> I'm a little biased. I admit. <laughs> yeah. Our house in the middle of our street. Our house in the middle of our street. Our house in the middle of our street. Hello? Hi, dear. Uh, is this Mrs. Davis? Hang on. What? Hello? Hi. This is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Hi. Hi, is is this Mrs. Davis? Yes, it is. Okay, great. I needed to let you know uh, about something. Okay. Um, you, you have a neighbor named uh, Kirk, and he says he was laying down in your backyard the other night, and he got dog poop in his hair. What? Like, do do you know your neighbor named Kirk? He he says he. I don't. Sorry. Okay, well, he says he knows you, and you know him, and you're always rude to him, and that's why he wanted me to call you. I'll just work this out, but okay. he, he was laying in your backyard the other night, and he got dog poop in his hair. And? Well, do you think you could apologize on, on you know, I'll just apologize for you on your behalf? Sure, but is this a joke? Oh, no, it's not a joke. No, he was just uh, hanging out in your yard. He was, like, laying out there late at night. Um, said he was, like, looking okay. looking at the stars or whatever. And, Super and... creepy. Nice. Okay. What, what's creepy about it? All right. I'm going to go. Thanks. What, what's creepy about it? What are you talking about, creepy? I'm creepy or he's creepy? I don't know why that one ended up <laughs> being presented in that way. Why? Why couldn't I just be Kirk myself? Kirk is the next person I'm attempting to call here. Hello. Hey there. Is this Shannon? It is. Hey, this is uh, Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yes. And I needed to let you know that you have some new neighbors that just moved in. And okay. They're they're nudists, so you're gonna see them. They they take a lot of walks and um, they they walk around naked. On the streets. <laughs> Is this a joke? Oh no, no! I wouldn't kid about something like this. I'm just I'm letting everyone in the neighborhood know because people <sighs> okay. keep ca calling the police on them, 
and it's legal to be naked. Okay. So oh, if good to know, we've got we've got new neighbors in the neighborhood that are nudists and yes. they like to walk around naked. Yeah, they they, Do um, they have children. Are oh they yeah, older? they have three lovely children who will also be naked. They what, just, do they live in our neighborhood, in on our street, or oh, no, not not on your street. They live over on Ridgeview. On Ridgeview, okay. Yep, but they go for a All lot right. of right. Well, we'll try to be kind and yeah, just wave hello. And non-judgmental. They're, yeah, they're very nice people. Just wave hello and, and welcome to the <laughs> welcome them to the neighborhood. Okay. Uh, they, All right. They go on a they, they go on a lot of bike walks. I mean, they go on a lot of walks and bike rides. So you'll probably see okay. them. They they love to be out in public. Okay. Oddly enough. <laughs> All right, good to know. Thanks for the heads up. Okay, and if you see children out playing in the streets and stuff, and a few of them are naked, just don't think anything of it. Okay. Completely normal. <laughs> All right, thanks. All right, what are you doing tonight? Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing tonight? Uh, we, uh, why? Uh, just, just making conversation. Just check, check. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, thanks for calling. Well, I mean, why are you so giggly? Are you guys over there smoking weed or something? N- no, I just thought that was a funny conversation. Oh, I see. Okay, no, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry into your giggliness or anything. I just did, didn't wondered about that. Okay, thanks. All right, have a nice night. I need to have... <laughs> I Like, I thought she sounded like a frail old lady when, when she first answered. But then she thought it was awesome. I didn't want to say anything too crazy to her. I didn't want to, like, you know, say we're going to film pornos in her house. I still want to do that one. Shootin' Tard wants me to say that we're uh, paranormal investigators. We've been chasing the ghost of Lincoln all over the country. And he's currently hiding in their house. That's one I wrote down from earlier. I thought it was funny. And then uh, Danger Dave... Wants me to say that I'm on the roof smoking a joint and I, I dropped it on their porch. See if they can bring it up to me or throw it up. Throw it up onto the roof. That'd be nice. I, I shouldn't be climbing. I shouldn't be climbing in my condition, you know. Don't want to have to sue them. The nudists are filming porn in their, porn in their front yard. Thank you for calling... Uh, that's what I'll do. I'll call her back. By the way, lady, your front yard is going to be where the nudists film their next porn. Nothing wrong with that. Get off your high horse. I want someone to be pissed about the nudists. I need to call a younger neighborhood where, where some moms can be like, oh my god, my kids can't see that. The nudists are mentally handicapped. And we're just getting too ridiculous, you guys. Come on. That would be good, though. Say, what, what do you have something against the handi- Magic Jack customer. Ah. Handicapped people? You have something against them? Or call them racist? Or say they're they're handy they're they're uh, they're nudist veterans? What do you have against veterans? The new mailman is a nudist. Okay. <laughs> the nudists are sex offenders. But that doesn't mean they can't be nudists. We can't trample on their rights. I like your idea, Corbin's Corner. Oh. Hello? Hello? Hey, uh, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yeah? How you doing tonight? Doing okay. That's good. Which to Homeowners hear. Association? Oh, okay. What's on your mind? Um, well, I was uh, on your roof. I'm on your roof right now. What are you doing on my roof? I was just looking at things because we got to check out things for like inspections and stuff. But I accidentally dropped my weed pipe off of your roof and it landed like by your front porch. Yeah. Can you can you um can you go pick that up for me and throw it back up? What are you doing up there? I uh, just you know inspection type stuff, just in- inspecting things, making sure everything's on the up and up. We we have to do it at night because of owls. Just a minute, I'll be out there in a minute. Who's that in the Who's that in the background? Is that the TV or is that neighbors? You no, it's my TV. Oh, okay. I was gonna say you're not having a party in there, are you? That's against the homeowners association rules. Correct answer. 
What I'll be right out in a minute. Wh what are you watching? Hey. What? If you're inspecting the roof, inspect it and get off of it. Okay. Well, I'm I'm I'm, I'm smoking marijuana though, and I don't feel comfortable climbing down in the state. I'll be right out. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't tell people I'm on the roof. <laughs> the wife's all like, be careful. Should I call back and butt slam them so they know I'm not really on the roof? Hello? Hey there. Uh, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yes? And I needed to let you know, we're not actually on your roof. Why are you on my roof? No, we're not on your roof. That's what I'm trying to oh. tell you. I, I'm at the Homeowners Association building right now. Yes. And uh, we're having a pizza party tonight. Like all of, all the board members here for the Homeowners Association. Yeah. And I just, you know, we're, we're eating pizza. We're smoking weed. We're drinking beers. I don't know and why you're calling it this time of night. I, I know, like, th that's what I'm trying the to... The homeowners don't do that, so, you know what? Don't call me again. No, you're, you're not letting me explain, ma'am. No, the homeowners don't usually call this late at night. I know, we usually don't, but tonight we're having a party. We're, we're, doing, we're doing, like, a pizza party. With... Yeah, but it's usually... They usually let us know ahead of time when there's a party. No, no, it, this is a party here at um, the main head guy's home, Frank. Frank D'Amato. So we're, anyway. we're just having a pizza party with marijuanas and beers. I don't drink marijuana and I don't drink beer. Well, you're not invited. We're not inviting you. <laughs> well, then what's this all about? Okay, so I smoked a lot of marijuana and just for a split second, I thought I was on your roof. And I was yeah. looking at the homeowners association. I think I'll call the... I think I'll call the police and get you off my roof. No, no, we're, I'm not on the roof. I'll call the association, have them go down there okay. and see what you're doing. Call, call the association because the, I'll pick up because I am the association. It's just, uh, you know, we... You're I, not the association. You're just on the board. That's what you are. Yeah, well, you know, same thing. Okay, so it's, they're, they're calmed down now. They don't think I'm on the roof anymore. That's good. <laughs> Food stamp taco says I'm making it worse. I'm not making it worse. I'm making it better. I was just helping her. <laughs> just, he's going to be like wandering around the yard all night looking for the man on his roof. If it was a younger person, sure. But, but no, Crimson had to get me this old people's directory. Okay, so I did your idea, Danger Dave. Danger Thank Dave 69. Thank you for calling. Are you happy? All right, here's a UL number. Hello, you're on the air. Hey, it's gone. What? Are you calling someone right now? Yeah, I'm trying to call Jason and Jody. You want to leave him a message? Thank you for calling. Please leave a message after the beep. Leave him a message. At the tone, please record your message. No hacking. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Jason, you uh, you left a drill over here the other night. And uh, I was hoping that uh, you'd come pick it up because it's been sitting around. My wife doesn't like it. Yeah, she was, she was noticing that the other day that it was sitting around. I don't like being here. You shouldn't have been over while it's gone, man. Tell him to get that out, out of here. Get it out of here. Get that drill out of here. Get the hell out of here, man. You gotta get this fucking thing out of that. Get it out of here. Okay, I hung up. <laughs> they should enjoy that. I want to get a hold of someone, someone real. So who's Not this? Oh, this is Wolfen. Oh, again? You, you can't call twice. And yeah. Whatnot. This is bullshit. You no, know, I mean, I, was, I didn't get to be Chad, though. I never got to play him. So I well, call you, you, got, you got to do that, so. Yeah, same, same, same thing. Message. Hello? 
Hi, uh, Roxanne, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yes. Thank God you answered. I need to put my son Chad on the phone. Okay? From the Homeowners Association? Yeah, yeah, I'm calling from the, the <laughs> Homeowners Association. And my son Chad, he has something to tell you. Does he know me? Um, well, he just, I'm, I'm making him apologize for what he did. Okay, Dad. Okay, yeah, here, I'll talk here to her, go. Dad. Okay, here you go. Um. Well, my dad said uh, I needed to apologize. The, I was. Um, it was me. The other night, it was me who came over. You peed on his do on her doorknob, didn't you? Admit it. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. I okay. I I peed on your doorknob. Because me and my friends thought it'd be funny, and then we dinged up and ditched you. Ma'am? Yes? Okay, yeah, my son just apologized. You need to accept his apology. Accept it. Is this a joke? No, no, that's my son. I work for the Homeowners Association. And so, um... What address did he come and pee on? The the forty four twenty, just on the doorknob. You you tell him, tell tell him, Chad. Tell her, Chad. I'm, I'm sorry, I I didn't. I, I just peed on the doorknob because I'd be funny, and my my friends. But why did you funny. do it? Just, just... Hello. I, I I just thought it'd be fun. They just thought it'd be funny, and we just wanted to have a good time. And we only smoked a little bit of marijuana before this. And, and I, I just thought it'd be funny. And you picked my home to do something like this? I, I, I just saw you and I thought you looked kind of stupid. And so I went over her. Do you even know who I am? Oh, I've seen you around a few times. And where do you live? I, I live over across down the other street, the side street. We, we live on Mary Lane. This is Carol. This is Chad's mother, Carol. You, uh, Chad, are you apologizing? You apologize, Chad. But I'm, I'm saying, sorry, I'm um, sorry. what is your answer? I'm sorry, Mom. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Bam, bam, you need you to hit, accept his apology. Bam, you hit touchstones at me. Why, why did I you understand that, but I'm trying to figure out who's apologizing to me. What is your address? You know my address. I feel a little intimidated here. What, what are you going to come pee on our door? You can't do that. Well, no, I would never uh, think of doing do anything that. like that. You can't do that. Just because I did two wrong doesn't make a right, man. No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm just saying... Who I just wanted to know who you were, ma'am. Just a just just accept I'm not the apology. You. Just okay, it. well I just hope you don't do that to anyone else, and I'm sorry that you um felt that you needed to do something that's a horrible joke to somebody. Tell him you accept but, the apology. But uh, I appreciate you calling and apologizing for wow. doing it. I, um, I'll I'll try not to do it again next time, my friend suggested and and y'all suggested to come to my door and do this well i just thought you looked kind of like stupid and my friend yeah. he thought it'd be yeah. funny and i said that you looked like a stupid yeah. bitch and, and so he he wanted me to do it then chad you don't say that chad come on be nice oh mom well, you're always telling me what to do, Mom. You can't always tell me what to do all the time. You do not call that lady a stupid bitch. That's not nice, even if it's true. I just said it to Tony. I only said it once to Tony. Okay. Well, thank you, ma'am, for accepting the apology. Okay, how did you get this number, though? Um, with the, the Homeowners Association directory. Durr. Oh, it shouldn't be in the directory though, but okay. Yeah, you got it. It's got a UL next to it. It says UL. Unlisted. I'm so sorry. Right. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Do okay. Ex accept his apology again. Do you need me to wash it off, ma'am? No, I'll wipe it down. I'll, I'll wipe my doorknob down.
But, you should uh, probably thank you. was it a couple times? No, that's okay. I just hope you don't do that to anyone else. I'll come and spray Windex on you if you need me to, ma'am. No, that's okay. I'll I'll clean it off. I'm, okay, I'm you clean it off. Need some moist towelettes or some alcohol. Nope, I'm I'm good. I'll clean it off. But I I um thank you for apologizing. I also, and I I also hope could you bring don't over do some that to anybody else. Needed. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Thank bye bye. Thank you. Thanks. I'm so sorry. You're I'm so Thanks. sorry. Bye. Goodbye, ma'am. Bye-bye. Hang up the phone. Hang it up. Hang it up, ma'am. Just hang it right up. Hang up the fucking phone, lady. We don't have all day. Just hang it up. Hang it up. <laughs> ma'am. Ma'am, <laughs> hang it. Okay, there she... Wait, was that her? Oh, yeah. She's, 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 she's yeah. gone now. All right. All right, that was fun, thanks. Yay, you got to be a, a Chad. <laughs> Good job. Bye. Bye. All right, I'm hanging up on you. Bye. Oh, he hung up on me. What an asshole. Wow, Wolfatin. Wow. <laughs> so there's a lady going out with a bottle of Windex now, or maybe some 409, and she is wiping down her doorknob. All thanks to Wolfatin. <laughs> that was nice of that lady to accept the apology. Nobody's gotten super pissed tonight, though. It's a very sedate community. We should have told her that your pee is really chunky. Your call has been forwarded. I think this next guy... Maybe this is what this means. I think he's a colonel. It says C O L period. Ah, shit. We're sorry. The colonel's dead. Never mind. So I guess uh, U L does mean unlisted. And there's another one in here. This is the only time I've seen this. Instead of U L, it says F R A N. What's that mean? The number you have dialed is not in service. Crud. What's Fran mean? We're about to call that one, and after this one. Why does it say Fran, though? What's Fran mean? What could that possibly mean? Oh, this one's busy. They're on the internet. They're on their dial-up. So we're going to call the one that says Fran. That's not a name. Well, I guess it could be a name, because it's Thomas and F.C. Maybe that is what it means. Maybe it's Fran. It's Fran. Hello. Hey, Thomas. Yes. Hey, this is uh, Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. And uh, I'm calling everyone in the neighborhood to let them know that uh, you need to lower your mailbox by about two feet. Lower the mailbox by two feet? Yeah, there's a new mailman, and he's actually a, uh, um, a little person. Okay. <laughs> so, well, don't be laughing at him just because he's a midget. That's not cool. Well, no, I'm just, uh, I've never heard of that before. I think they have a, uh, a height that you go by. Yeah, but he can't reach it where it's at now. It's, like, way up there, and he's not going to carry a ladder around with him. That'd be weird. Okay. So, um, yeah, you just need to lower your mailbox by two feet. Do you have the mailbox that's on your house, or do you have the one that's out there in the in the road? No, it's on the street. Okay. Well, you need to chop off so, about... So uh, I've had this this Hispanic uh, mailman for ever since I've been here. He's gone? Yeah, yeah. We had to get rid... They had to get rid of him. He, he was causing problems. Oh, really? Yeah, yep. Yep. Okay, and this is Roy. Yep, Roy from the Homeowners Association. We just need you to lower your mailbox. Okay, by and, two feet. Yeah, about two feet should do it. Okay. Well, I'll see if I can catch him tomorrow and uh, uh, get him from the horse's mouth. You probably can catch him because he's got little legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <sighs> well, <Yep. laughs> well, I appreciate the call. It's kind of odd. I suppose you've heard that before. If you, 
you've talked to other people. Oh uh, yeah, there's so many people. They're just totally against uh, midgets, and they're they're so mean about it. I'm, I'm glad you're at least being nice about it, even though you laughed at first. Well, I just think it, it, it's not that I think that that's funny. I think that somebody calling me with a with a request like that is funny. Uh, I've yeah. got no problem with uh, short people. Yeah, yeah, just uh, yeah, just wait for him to come out there tomorrow. Um, he he might take longer to get there than your normal mailman because, uh, you know, his legs are shorter, so it takes him longer to get around the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. And he's fat. Okay, well, I'll take that to heart, Roy, and thank you for your call. Okay, he'll he'll probably have a ladder with him tomorrow just to help him, you know, just on the first few days while before people get their mailboxes shortened. Well, I, it, it, that makes sense. Either that or a cardboard box or a, a, a fruit box or something to stand on. Huh? Yeah, well, not a cardboard. Come on. That, that would just yeah, cave right in. They make them pretty, pretty hefty, uh, the, like the banana boxes. That's true. Okay. But, you know, well, you, thank you for the tip. I'll you, take care of that. You don't need to be making fun of them, though, like that. Yeah. Sam, yeah. tell Adios. them to carry around a cardboard box. What the hell? <laughs> Uh, I should have asked them what Fran means. What the fuck does Fran mean? Hello? Hey there, uh, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Is this Gary? Uh, this is uh, Alan. Oh, Alan. Oh, yeah, I, I had the wrong thing on here. It does say that. Alan and Deborah. Yes. Okay, Did so... you talk to Debbie, or are you looking for... Well, either one. I just needed to let you know some uh, people are going to be stopping by tomorrow. Okay. Um, they're, they're, have you seen that TV show, Ghost Hunters? Uh-uh. Okay. Uh, they're paranormal investigators, and they're going to be coming by your house tomorrow, and they're going to be coming inside and looking around? Uh, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, well, I'm calling from the Homeowners Association, and I've given them permission to come on and, you know, to stop by and come on in your house and... They're just gonna. They're gonna take a look around, and uh, I don't have, think we're doing that. Who, who are you? Uh, this is. I've told you. This will be the third time I've told you. This is Roy, from the <laughs> homeowners association. Okay, I got that. Okay, there's gonna be TV cameras showing up tomorrow. Uh, they're gonna. They're gonna come inside. They're gonna. They've got these instruments. These little gadgets. They're gonna just wave them around. I don't, been, I don't think I invited anybody into my house. Yeah, but I'm with the Homeowners Association, so I invited them on your behalf. Yeah, um, no, I don't care if you invited them. They're not coming in my house. Okay, the, these people, <laughs> they've, they've been chasing the ghost of Abraham Lincoln all over the country, okay. and they say he is you, in your you house. Just have a nice evening, okay? No, he's... he's <laughs> all right, your, your idea didn't work, shooting tard. That was his idea. <laughs> ghost of Abraham Lincoln's in your house. Let me try him right back. <laughs> Philippine says, uh, nudist paranormal investigators. Why not? Hello? Hey there. Uh, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. I just called yes? and talked to your husband, and he was very rude to me. Uh huh. Is this Deborah? Um,. Roy, I don't know you. Okay, well, no, yeah, I don't know you either. I, I'm just calling you because um, the ghost hunting TV show, they're going to be coming by your house, and Alan was very rude and hung up on me. Mm -hmm. And I'm just calling to let you know they're going to be stopping by. They just need to come and take a look around because they're looking for the ghost of Abraham Lincoln. And if you don't let them in, we'll, we'll have to give you a fine. Cause okay, I'll keep that in mind when they come. Because we're allowed to just invite people over on your behalf. We we told them it was fine. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Okay. Have you experienced any uh, ghost activity in your house recently? Okay. <laughs> it's a nude Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> of course. Let me call right back. I'm not going to do this show for much longer, you guys. I, I think I'm. I might like uh, finish up this page. And then I'm finished. This next one is a UL number. Here, let me go down the list and see if there's any other weird codes. Oh, we've got... Oh, okay, okay. We've got one here that says WK next to their number. And I assume that means work. So we've got unlisted, we've got work, and we've got Fran. What does Fran mean? That's all we've got. UL and WK. 
fuck does Fran mean? What does Fran mean? You have reached the Gordon residence. Snappy Bakes says that it means friends, relatives, acquaintances, and neighbors. Why would it be? Why? That can't be it. Come on. Good guess, though. Fran Drescher. That's possible. Fart. Rapid anal nuggets. Yep, maybe. Hello. Hi there. This is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yeah. How you doing? Uh, okay. That's good. Hey, um, we've been uh, running some. Uh, we've we've been scanning your house with our equipment here at the Homeowners Association, and we noticed that there's too so? there's too many negative ions coming coming out of your house. And uh, we need you to run your microwave for a few minutes. Oh, oh. Who, who are you calling? I'm calling you, Gene, over there on Ridgeview. Okay, and wh- why are you doing this at this time of night? Well, because cause the, uh, the, the sensors just went off and alerted me that there's too many negative ions coming out of your house. And we need to you know, run your microwaves to make more positive ions. It, so it'll all balance out. Do you think that has anything to do with my fireplace? Oh, maybe. Maybe that or the TV. But it's fine. It's nothing to worry about. Uh, we just like to, you know, just, just, just so the air quality is good in the neighborhood. We just like to have an have a equal amount of ions. And, and, you know, just around all the houses. Could you just run your microwave all night? Yeah, I will. Put put it on popcorn. For how long? Uh, Just three minutes. Three minutes is plenty. Just hit the popcorn button. Okay, just a moment. Wait, can you do do something that requires a lot of beeps? Because I got to hear it beep. Ooh, I hear it going. There's nothing in there, is there? No. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm checking my sensors right now. I'm showing positive ions coming out of the house. It, it looks like it's well, what a... Produces, what? What produces the negative ions? Uh, it could be the television. Uh, it could be if you're playing on your phone too much. Um... Maybe you need to clean out the vents, you know, the, the furnace vents? No, I know I don't have to do that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. could be if you... Do you have shag carpet? No. Um, do you have a stick of butter there in the fridge? Yes. Um, could you get the stick of butter out real quick? Yes. Can I turn off the microwave yet? Uh, yeah, it's looking good now. I think we can go ahead and turn that off. Yes, has this happened before to other people? Oh, yeah, it happens all the time. Every time it happens, I just call people up and have them turn on their microwave, and that usually does the trick. Okay, I have to butter out. Okay, okay. Okay, could you lick the, just lick the butter with your tongue. Just lick it. Okay. Did you lick it? Yes. What does it taste like? It doesn't taste like butter. Like there's too many negative ions? I, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean it doesn't taste like butter? <laughs> like like you can't believe it's not butter? <laughs> no, it just... I don't eat butter, so I don't like to even lick it. Oh, I see. What What do you have butter for if you don't eat it? Other for cooking and baking and for other people. Oh, I see. Okay, but how how much did you lick the butter? Did you just touch your tongue to it, or did you just like slurp up the side of it? No, I just I just put my tongue to it. Okay, but it does taste like butter. Yeah. 
Okay, and it does it does it like? Would you say it tastes like there's too many negative ions coming out of it? I, I couldn't possibly tell you that. Could you look at one? Because I don't know what it's. <laughs> I don't know what negative ions taste like. Oh, oh, you'd know it if you if you tasted it. Could you try it one more time? I still can't tell if there are negative ions coming out of it. Okay, well, it, it looks good on my computer here. I don't even know what ions are. Yeah, me either, really. It just that's just what it says on the computer screen. Um, my 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 uh, supervisor, weaponized cactus. He 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 uh, he wrote this program. And why why are you doing this on a Sunday night? Cause, well, the alarm just okay. went off. The, the yeah. sensors went off, and I had to call up and just let you know. Well, isn't it kind of late to do that? Yeah, but, you know, we, we have to do it. We want to keep the uh, ions uh, all regulated around here. That's that's what we do here at the Homeowners Association. Okay. Okay. What are you watching on TV? The Channel 9. Oh, Okay. I didn't answer my question at all. Okay, well, you have a nice night. Thank you. Um, bye. Yeah. All right, bye. <laughs> She'd lick the stick of butter. Remember like three years ago, the, the lick a stick of butter challenge? And I had that one lady do it a long time ago. But we weren't sure if she really did it because she sounded like she could be messing with us. Nebraska Ryan wants me to have her put dryer sheets in the microwave. But there you go, weaponized cactus. I uh, did your idea about negative ions. I don't know what the fucking ion is either. I ain't no goddamn scientist. So I wonder, is she going to keep the stick of butter? Or is she going to throw it out? I mean, that's like a whole dollar. A waste of a dollar. Hello? Hi there. Uh, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Hello? Roy? Hey. Yeah? Hey, I can barely hear you. You having a party over there? No, 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 no. Oh. Uh -uh. Hey, um, I was laying... What, what can I do for you? Uh, I, was lying, I was laying out in your yard. Like, uh, I was lying down in your yard uh, about an hour ago. Why? And... Just, just because, and um, I got dog poop in my hair. Do you guys have a dog in there? Well, who are you anyway? I'm with the homeowners association. With what is your last name? Zerbel. What? Roy Zerbel. Just a second. Okay. Hang on. All right. Okay, I've got him. I've got him tagged. Uh -oh. That's all right. Wait, what? I got the number. Bye bye. What? You got me tagged? What? No, no, don't, don't do that. What did I do? <laughs> Crap. I, I, you guys, I think it's a good time to end the show. I've just been tagged. Shit. Can't have this. Getting tagged. Fuck. Consequences are never going to be the same. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Now what do I do? You guys, I, I think that's going to have to be the end of the show. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules, but, you know, when I get tagged, it's just, it's for the best. It's time to just end it. Just be done with it. You guys, uh, keep me in your prayers tonight. Keep me in your thoughts and prayers. And wish me luck. I've been tagged. Stalkzor says the only cure to tagging is licking a stick of butter. I don't have sticks of butter. I just have the, the tub. I have the tub of fake butter. There is no final boss, Nunu. It's uh, it's 420-6969. Uh, I tried calling it, and it's a disconnected number. Oh, well. Thanks, Carlton. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for listening. 
Thanks for all the uh, chat room ideas and stuff. Thank you, Crimson, for sending in this list today. I've, I've used, um, I don't know, like not even half of it yet. So we definitely have to do some more homeowner pranks soon. Maybe we'll do them during the daytime so they won't think I'm a telemarketer. Have a good Sunday night, everyone. Bye. Hey, it's Will here again. Um, hey, Will. I was listening to some of your uh, older shows. Well, not really old. Kind of recent shows. And um, Same thing. On episode 427, you used an intro, which I'd heard before, but I couldn't remember on which episodes. And that shit was so catchy. It was stuck in my head for, like, days. I was going back to that episode just just to listen to the intro. So I was wondering uh, maybe you could throw that in uh, one of these episodes here coming up. And, um, okay. I'm going to do it that, on today's episode, but I don't know what you're talking about. Here, let's figure this out real quick. Oh, that one. Okay, yeah. I'll put that on today's show. I'm just recording the show right now. I haven't put it together yet, but I will definitely use that intro today just for you. I play that on a lot of shows, though. That's one of my favorites that was put together by JD, who's done quite a bit of music for the show. Keep up the good work. Uh, can't wait for the new episode. Love you, Brad. Bye. Thanks. I'll try. Hi, Brad. It's Tyler. Hey. Threat TV. Threat TV. Um, wanted to let you know that uh, your shows have been awesome recently. Hey. And um, I don't know. You, you caused my blood sugar to go up this morning. That's like good. Like three hundred something. Uh, I try. Yeah, you you fed me too many uh, ramen noodles last night uh, down in the kitchen, and so my fault. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know um, I am at work right now. That's nice. Driving right now, and um, uh, love you, and I'll see you when I get home. Okay. Bye, bye honey. All right, that was from Corbin Guy. Thanks for that voicemail, Corbin Guy. At least he only left one of them today instead of a bunch. But I did get something in the mail today from Corbin Guy, which I have not opened up yet. I'm going to do that right now. On the back of the envelope, it says, Please accept these free gifts made especially for you. We hope you think of our precious girls and boys when you use them. There's a picture of Pinocchio, and it looks like I've got a sticker of a weird ghost thing. I've got a sticker of a girl with boobs. I'm very offended by that. I've got a very nice poster of Martin Luther King. I've got a flyer with a bunch of URLs on it, which includes phonelosers.org and Prank Call Nation and Laugh Track Matt's Spreadshirt. Thanks for this, Corbin guy. I'm going to go to all of these URLs. It's got meat clown buttons on there. I'm using meat clown buttons because I had to order some extra buttons because the Kickstarter did so well that I didn't have enough buttons to give to everyone, so I had to order some. And then I have a price list uh, catalog thing for Cactus Products, makers of fine finishes since 1914. And this thing looks very old. It looks like it's from the 50s or something. Oh, look at this glues and adhesives. Mr. Biggs would approve of this catalog. Thornton's Lacquer Stick. Finish repair outfit. Okay, thanks, Corbin guy, for all this stuff in the mail. Also, by the way, thank you, Nicholas Caesar, for mailing me some things. I think that was last week. He keeps sending me all of the original drawings that he does for the show because he draws everything on paper and then he scans them in and colors them on the computer. And that's kind of cool. He sends me the original black and white drawings. I got that mail like right before I went out to see Olga and King Richard, so I put them all in my backpack and let them go through a bunch of them. They got to dig through and take a few with them from his latest batch. And he also sent me a joke book of 1,001 cool jokes. Like, what kind of cheese do monsters eat? Monsterella. That was a good one. That was definitely a cool joke. What do you call a 10-foot monster? Shorty. Get it? Because, you know, yeah, I guess. Let's get out of the monster section. Why did the doofus go in the ditch? Her turn signal was on. Her turn signal was on. Of course, it's a woman driver. Way to be sexist, joke book. Why did the lion spit out the clown? Because he tasted funny. 
All right. And then he also sent me a DVD of Carrot Top's hit movie, Chairman of the Board. The tagline is Work Sucks. I actually kind of like this movie. Everybody should watch Chairman of the Board with Carrot Top in it. I'm not saying it's a good movie. I'm just saying I kind of like it. I also don't think I mentioned that I Regret Jumping uh, sent me a thing in the mail, which is a 3D printed PLA bell that's in full color. It's kind of awesome. If you watch the Calls of Mass Confusion live show that we did last weekend, you can see it stuck to my microphone. I put it on there with sticky tape. And Casper sent me a vinyl record of Kenny Loggins' music. I made a video a couple weeks ago where I gave a tour of the Situation Room, and I played the record in that video, and I tried to put together the PLA Bell logo of I Regret Jumpings. And that reminds me, I need to make that video public, because I made that an early access thing for just the Patreons. But I guess I can make that public now. If you guys want to see a tour of the Situation Room, I'll put a link to that in the show notes. But anyway, thanks, everyone, for sending weird things to me in the mail. Okay, so I just heard my voicemail on the show. Uh Uh-oh. All right. And you called me a weirdo for liking the Ford Taurus. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Fucking weirdo. But that's a great car. I guess. It's reliable. Kind of. I don't even know what one is. I was just being a dick. How dare you? call me a weirdo for liking the Ford Taurus. I don't really think you're a weirdo for liking the Ford Taurus. I think you're a weirdo for getting upset about it. Beautiful, beautiful car. It is. I had a Ford Focus before, so I can't say shit. Now I've got a Nissan Versa Note. I can't say anything about anyone's car. Is that Kickstarter thing still going on? I mean, what's going on with that? I want a coin. Oh no, you missed out. I love you. That's for another conversation. All right. Still waiting for that moment where you where you where you pick up the phone and I call the voicemail line, but that hasn't happened yet. As you know, every time I fucking call, I'm like, hey, is, is Brad gonna pick up? And, and now I feel unappreciated. Sorry. But at the same time, I I, pe- I feel appreciated at the same time. I get a lot of calls now, and I can't tell which line they're coming on in on unless I look over at the phone. I just see them popping up on the screen all the time. But it's because of those payphone shows that I do. People watch the payphone show videos and they see the phone number on the bottom of the video and they're calling it constantly now. And it doesn't make the payphone ring. I turn that off when I'm not doing a show, but it does make calls come into the computer. So I'm just overwhelmed with calls. That's all it is. I just haven't been picking up for anyone except for Wolfatin. I only pick up for him. I'm on the show right now. Well, I mean, I'd imagine. Yep. Unless I delete this one. All right. Maybe I will. I will. Okay. It's been a minute and a half. Bye. Hi, Brad. It's your friend Eric here. Hey, Eric. Hey, um, I am at uh, Disney World right now. Don't you wish you were me? No. And I not saw really. some people. They made their kids wear these shirts that said, "If I'm lost, please call my mom or dad with their dad, their parents' phone numbers on them." Wow. And I happened to take a picture of the shirt, and I was <laughs> thinking, and they have their parents' names on it too. Okay. I was thinking it'd be funny. This if sounds like an awful idea. You wanted to call them and say you found their kids at Disney World or something. And uh, if you think that's a good idea, say yes right now, and I'll send you an email. I think it's a terrible idea. Please send them. With that information? But, yeah, I just wanted to really tell you I was at Disney World. So, all right, talk to you later, Brad. You show off. I haven't been there in years. So I can't guarantee that I would call the numbers, but, yeah, you should send the picture. It sounds hilarious. I mean, I guess it's a good idea. Sort of. I mean, if I had seen that at Disney World, I probably would have called them and just said, Hey, I see your kids. They're with a couple of adults. Oh, wait, that's you. Sorry. That's what you should have done. And then when they turn around, just wave at them. But yeah, why not? Send, send me the numbers. Hey, Brad, it's Gloria. And hey, Gloria. Um, I just really wanted to entice other people to donate to your Patreon. So, oh, thanks. Uh, you're, you don't want to miss out the latest hobo. So Brad calls a child oncology ward and he tells them that they're gonna get better and it's hilarious yeah that was a good one all right that's all fuck you bye you guys who are not supporting the show on patreon.com slash phone losers you are really missing out on the best pranks that's where i do all of the best pranks there are now 97 hobo sodes which add up to 32 hours of extra phone calls that you get instant access to if you support the show you can just support for like one month and download all the hobo sodes and then unsupport yourself and wait until next year and do it again. It's a great way to scam me. You should definitely do that. The other day, I did a hobo sode. Oh yeah, I mentioned this on the live show. I think the girl's name was Sean. Or maybe it wasn't Sean. I can't remember. But here, let's play a small oh, clip of this. Let me try and find where it is in the show. Hi, this is. Oh, you're Sean? 
Yes, I am. It oh, was no. Sean. Sean, Sean is a, a man's name. Yeah, you can't be Sean. Don't don't try to mess around here with us. We're American Airlines. Really? We're, we don't have time for you know childish games here. We just need just. It's put, not put, childish games. My name is Sean Murray. Just put your husband on the phone. Come on. My husband's name is Todd. Come on, lady. I just need to talk to Sean. That's all. This is Sean. Can you please put Sean on the phone? Quit playing on the this phone. This is fucking Sean. Don't curse at me, ma'am. I'm with American Airlines. We're- it just goes on like that for 17 minutes. I think there are three or four phone calls. She actually calls me back, and I get to make fun of her name again when she calls me back. The entire thing is just me making fun of this lady for her name being Sean. And on the hobo sode before that, hobo sode number 96, I called up Rappy McRapperson's old landlord and told her I was camping in her backyard. I found Rappy's wallet. It wasn't that funny at all, but I left it in there because, I don't know, it's it's Rappy's wallet. Before that, I called up landlords. I told them that I was going to be activating a giant electromagnet and to have all the tenants uh, get their computers out of their apartments so I didn't erase them. They didn't seem to appreciate it. So anyway, yeah, everyone go support the Patreon. Support the show, patreon.com slash phone losers, because that guy said you should. Hey, Brad, I was listening to some episodes from a few years ago, the ones where you were pretending to be a producer for the Jerry Springer show, Ooh, and okay. you kept telling people that, like, their family members have a secret to reveal to them, <laughs> and they kept freaking out. I don't remember this at all, but Just it sounds great. the secret was. Um, I think you should do more of those calls. They were, they were pretty funny. I, I agree. All right, keep up the great work. That needs to be done. I have absolutely no memory of that. So I've just been showing my mom, my beautiful gray mom, who's sitting right next to me, by the way. Mm-hmm. Say, say, she say hi, mom. Hi, mom. Yeah, see, that's my mom. Anyways, and you know, she really enjoys enjoys the Stone Losers of America channel, and you know, I, I I'm very happy about that, you know, because because I'm a fan, I'm a big fan. Oh. And thanks. You know. And thank you, mom. Yeah. So that that's it. That's basically it. Um. She's, she's, she's now a Phone Losers of America fan. I can Isn't tell. Right, Mom? I don't know why it makes me watch this shit. <sighs> All right. And you have yourself a great day. Wow. Bye-bye. What a terrible mom. Not backing up her son. He tries to be enthused about something and she just curses at him. Wow. I think you should call Child Protective Services on your mom. Hey, That's, that's what I would Brad. do. Um, in episode 454 in the voicemails, you have someone who asked who did the outro in episode four or five. Three. I know. I fucked up. I wrote it in the show notes. I noticed it while I was doing the post editing stuff, but I fucked up. Okay. I fucked up. And that Go was ahead and point it out to me. I don't actually, care. my band. Um, that was uh, Sonic Dive when they still existed before they, yeah. they died. They Sonic Dive. I said that it was Positude. It was not Positude. I actually totally forgot that song existed until you played that. I, I don't. I think it's been four years since you played that song, but... uh, Yeah, somebody in a YouTube comment, they commented that they really liked that song and I should play it more often. And I kind of forgot about it too, but it's sitting there in my song directory. It's on the new PLA Media Pack. There you go. That that, that, that reminded me of really, really good times I had with those buddies. I missed them. Yeah. But yeah, there you go. It's all been downhill since then, right? Uh, If you forgot who it was, that, that was me from Rockstar Pranks, even though I don't actually do prank calls. Anyway, that's hmm. a self plug and and uh, and uh, an answer for that one, dude. So there you go. All right, my bad. Love you. Okay, well, thanks for not pointing out that I'm an idiot and I told him the wrong band. I told him Positude because he said it sounded like the Butthole Surfers, and everyone always says that Killing My Boner song sounds like the Butthole Surfers. So I just immediately thought of that song. Yeah, it must be that one. I'm a big stupid. Hello there, Bradley. Hey, it's just uh, one of your big time fans, and I'm just at work here, and yeah. I'm having a beer. Don't tell my boss, thank you. I won't tell. Uh... Enjoy your uh, stuff you do. Cacti, cacti. Bye bye. All right, drinking on the job. Good hey, times. Brad. My name is Ted Sarkowski, and the only reason I'm calling in is because I was called out in the uh, voicemail segment of the last show. I, I think I was just in a bad mood. I'm sorry. Uh, Whatever I said. Someone was talking about a debate about economics. I couldn't find who the person was in the phone losers group because you deleted the thread. Oh. Um, so have them, uh, whoever, if you're listening, uh, write me on Facebook a private message. Great show, Brad. Um, been listening for years. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Yeah, somebody messaged Ted Sikowski about the debates 
on the PLA Facebook group. Hey, Arby. Hey. It's the Duelist. Hello. Hey, uh, I was just thinking, I remember back when I, like, this is like in the 80s uh, and 90s, uh, do you remember when they had the, like, like in the, the phone books, they would have the, like, adventure numbers you could dial into and... I, do uh, I just remember as a kid, you could call in like the adventure number, and they would tell you a story, and then. They- I don't remember those being in the phone book. Wait, no, actually, I do, because our local library they had one. It was just dial a story, and the lady that worked at the library would tell a different story every week or every couple weeks or whatever. And when you looked up the library in the phone book, there would be the regular library number. Then under that, it would show dial a story at the library but i never saw them in a special section of the phone book that's kind of cool sort of a choose your own adventure like story as well that you could dial into Ooh. i don't know if it was in all the phone books i just know in the 513 area code that they that they have those so uh let me know talk to you later love the show yeah it makes sense that they would have that but they didn't have them when when you know where i was growing up they didn't have them but we did have dial a story and we had time and temperature, my favorite time and temperature number, called it every day before school. That would be great to hack a dial a story number and tell your own story. I mean, I sort of did that once before. There was a KKK voicemail, or I mean, it was on an answering machine. And I replaced their story with my new story. I don't remember what I said. Probably nothing that funny. But hey, Brad. Uh, do the library. I one. don't really know what to say other than your show has really changed my life. Yay. It's fucking amazing. I Uh oh. Anything else to say other than I really appreciate what you're doing. It's helping me get through a really rough time. That's good. And really, you're great. You're fucking awesome. I please heard you on the Dick Show. Please don't curse. Uh, a couple weeks back, and I honestly haven't stopped listening to the Snowplow Show since. That's awesome. Join the hijinks Discord. I'm- That's what I was going for. I just wanted to steal all of Dick's listeners. Just like Dick stole all of Maddox's listeners. Considering installing an IRC client so that I can get on the uh, like the prank call nation or whatever Do IRC it. channel uh, where you guys hang out. No, I don't hang out there. I just hang out so on the I Discord. Seriously, keep up the fantastic work. This is like the dumbest thing I've ever done, but you know, it's all good. It's all gravy, baby. Mm, mm, That's yeah. right. So keep up the good work. Everything fucking owns. All right, take it easy. Thanks. Yay, I, I stole a new fan from Dick. That guy's got a lot of catching up to do. Why? Why? I think it was a dumbass. What? That kid just called me a big dumbass. What, what an asshole. I just got called a dumbass by a two-year-old. I wonder if that's Acid Pez. He used to have his kids get on the phone and say terrible things to me, but his kids are probably adults by now. Hey, Brad, this is Stephen Yucca Maybe calling he had more. from the bottom of a wine glass. Hey, I'm Stephen. just calling to, uh, I, I guess, a long time ago, you gave a shout-out to a very small Twitter page called Is Betty White Alive? I still follow that, and I still see it, like, every couple days. I see confirmations that Betty White is still alive, and I will like them. And every day they submit a tweet that just says yes. It's comforting. I just wanted to make all your listeners more aware of this Twitter page because it's just so fucking funny. And, uh, well, rest in peace, Betty White, whenever she decides to kick it. I know. What are they going to do when she dies? Are they just going to post no every day instead of yes? Oh, fuck. This is really That'd be hilarious. Work. All right. Love your show, Brad. Uh, Thanks, call you later. Steven. Love you. Texas, Cactus, Texas. Bye. Yeah, I'm going to find that Twitter right now. And I'm going to put a link to it in the show notes, because everyone should follow that. It's called, Is Betty White Still Alive? Wait, no, it's just, Is Betty White Alive? Twitter.com slash Is Betty Alive. You can find out every single day if Betty White is alive or dead. It looks like nine hours ago, the answer is yes. Betty White is still alive. And while you're at it, you should also be following Phone Losers on Twitter. Phone Losers, it's all one word. And be following RBCP. Twitter.com slash RBCP. But most importantly, follow Betty White. Is Betty White alive? That's it for today's show. That was the very last voicemail. Hope you all enjoyed the live show from last night. Thanks once again, Crimson, for sending that in. And I'm sure I will get to the rest of that list soon. Maybe tonight. Who knows? Probably not, though. By the way, did one of you uh, sign up over on Mr. Big's Patreon as Steve Dave? 
because I was listening to a show the other day and he did a shout out to Steve Dave at the Homeowners Association. Here, I'm going to try and find it here real quick. Rhea, hey, listen, we couldn't do this show unless some of you people decided to pony up a little bit and help us out. Forward a little bit. Don- Donald Workman's. Steve Dave from the Homeowners Association. And Mac Genderson. LOL. I don't know. Maybe he's just doing that. I think he's been listening to the show lately, ever since he made those drops for us. Thanks, Mr. Biggs. By the way, he did an awesome April Fool's joke on his podcast. He swapped the left and right channels when he recorded the podcast. So when everyone listened, they had to swap their headphones around so that it sounded right. It was a pretty awesome April Fool's joke. Good one, Mr. Biggs. Anyway, thanks again, Nikki D, for sponsoring today's show. I'm going to end today's show with another song by Positude. Since I thought I played it recently, but maybe I didn't, this is Killing My Boner. All the ladies. I don't know what negative ions taste like. 